Here we go. We're recording. Hello, everyone. It's Nancy Joel from Free Spirit. And with me today is Sharon Thornton, the Marketing Inspiration Manager. Yeah, so we're here today to uh, take you through our new release, our May lines. We're really excited about these lines. I know you've seen some things on social media already, and we're feeling the love, and we love that we're feeling the love about these new lines. So if you give us a moment, I'm going to share my screen with you, and we're going to go through the lookbook and take a look at what's coming your way for October, November, and December. Hold, please. All right, so you should be seeing something really spectacular on your screen right now. Um, it is Back by Popular Demand, the limited edition release of Sue Penn's Garden Brighter. Now I know many a quilter has fallen in love with Sue Penn's Garden Bright. And you know, we heard from retailers, we heard from quilters, do you have any more of this? Are you bringing this back? Are you bringing the dots back? Are you bringing the horizon back? And, you know, we heard you. And so we think now's the time to reintroduce this for a limited run. It's seven SKUs delivering in September at your shop. So let's just go through it really quickly. So you can see here it is in all its glory, the shine um, SKU that's perfect for like a whole cloth quilt. It's just stunning, the stunning gradation of like tie dye color. And here's Horizons 2 that matches right back to it. And I'll just go through this really quickly. The glow dots, the terrace, splotches of beautiful tie-dye color. I, I don't know how else to describe it because that's what it looks like to me. Um, and then, of course, Sundance, another perfect uh, cloth for, another perfect fabric for a whole cloth quilt. Um, anyway, this is a digitally printed collection, seven SKUs delivering in September. Garden Bright from Sue Penn, limited edition. I do want to say, if you have Garden Brighter in your store right now, this is a perfect complement to it. It goes so nicely together. It just, you could tell a bigger story now come September with Garden Bright and Garden Brighter together. So I'll, I'll turn this over to Sharon regarding the quilts. Good morning. Uh, Sunshine in the Garden quilt was designed by Sue Penn. And it's just, you know, Sue's has a great collection here, like Nancy already talked about. Nice digital printed uh, collection. And Sue does a wonderful job designing quilts for her collection as well. So Sunshine in the Garden quilt, the PDF is already up on our website. And uh, you can go there as soon as the collection hits and you can, you know, get this pattern. And if you wanted to, you could modify it with Garden Brighter, like Nancy said, if you still have it in the store. You could make some changes to this quilt, or you could even use the patterns for Garden Brighter and just combine the two in a different way to present it uh, in a fresh new way together. So I think it's perfect time to create a kit, don't you, Sharon? I do. I think it's fantastic time. So what's next? Let's see. Ah. Uh, Abandoned by Tim Holtz. My heart skips a beat when I look at this because <clears throat> Tim is just brilliant in how he designs. Everything is very evergreen. It matches back to anything he's done in the past and also to his foundations, which is part of our reorder catalog. And I'm, that by reorder, I mean these are fabrics that we have all the time. Um, so this is a great way to build your Tim Holtz offering. So this is Abandoned by Tim Holtz. It delivers in October and it's 10 nice SKUs that are based off of paper that he had in the paper crafting marketplace that did so well. The paper just sold out over and over again. I think he reprinted the paper so many times. It just, it, it looks beautiful on fabric. So you have all these very visually pleasing painterly artistic, like this mosaic here, just deep, rich colors, a very intense um, collection. He's got this, this damask type, um, vintage urban feel to stained damask. And I'll just flip through here again. And of course, the typogra typography, which Tim is just so known for, it's here as well in the London gridlock, great background fabric, 
It's just a beautiful, beautiful collection, digitally printed because of all the intense, deep colors and 10 skews. Love this crackle, the crack shadow. Um, again, a great background fabric for anything. There are pre-cuts. Um, the pre-cuts feature all of Abandon plus four new provision colors that were um, dipped or put together specifically for Abandon. So you have like the patina, the vineyard or vineyard as Sharon would say from Massachusetts, the indigo and sienna, four new provision colors matching back beautifully to Abandon and also adding to our 12 SKUs that already exist. So a nice grungy, modern feeling type solid offering for your shop. The cutoff date on the pre-cuts is August 3rd and they ship in October. And I'll let Sharon speak about the quilts. Okay, so the Hyde Park quilt, love this quilt. This quilt is, um, as Nancy said, this collection's digitally printed. So what we've done with this uh, particular quilt is it's back quarter friendly, which is great. You know, once you get all the pre-cuts and everything in as well. But we are also doing a quilt top, a digitally printed quilt top of this Hyde Park quilt. Um, it will be a smaller version of the finished quilt. So the finished quilt is 60 by 72 if you're gonna make it full size. And the digitally printed top is, uh, what is it, Nancy, 44? I can't it's read, it's 43 too by 51 and a half inches. And that's because of um, our printing, the printer that the we're width. using to print the digital top. So um, right. as an aside, to purchase the digital top, you need to buy the complete abandoned collection. Again, 10 SKUs. Um, and that allows you the opportunity to buy the digital top. Um, and the digital top uh, will ship to you in September, so a month before Abandon hits your store. So that gives you enough time to put some backing behind it and batting in between and have it beautifully quilted and hung in your shop. So, thank you, Nancy. Um, but I just want to talk a little bit more about the Hyde Park quilt. So, like Nancy said, I mean, we're offering that uh, digital quilt top so you can have your sample made ahead of time. Again, slightly smaller scale than the real quilt will be, but the customer will still get uh, the idea of what, you know, we're, we're offering. But this is just such a beautiful quilt using the collection um, abandoned along with foundation, Tim Holtz foundation skews. Those are the lighter skews in the background of this quilt. And I can tell you that I've worked with the abandoned uh, collection and the foundation skews, and they all play beautifully together. There's definitely skews within foundations that will work with this abandoned collection. So please consider both as you move forward with this. And yes, if you could just flip through the rest of the quilts, you can see the atomic bombshell that we just passed in tile work here on the left, and then the bounce quilts on the right. These are all using um, only the abandoned collection. They're not showing it like the uh, Hyde Park quilt did using any of the foundation skews, but the tile work quilt here is using the new provision solids in that quilt as well, along with abandoned. And you can see that everything is really cohesive and it's really working very nicely together. Um, I believe, do we have the solid? Oh, uh, it's oh no. next. Great Next. segue. <laughs> Great segue. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah. So as, as noted, there are four new provisions brought in specifically to match back to abandon, but just to round out our 12 that already exist to give you 16 total really cool, really grungy, really vintagey solids for your solids wall or just to merchandise with Tim. So the four new colors are Sienna, Vineyard, Patina and Indigo. These are on eight yard bolts. They will deliver in October um, at the same time Abandon does. These are the uh, 12 existing colors that I hope you have on your shelf. So you can round out the collection with the four new. Again, these are eight yard bolts. It's a very minimal investment to give uh, a little bit of textured movement into a solid offering in your store. So these, these are, these are, um, they coordinate uh, with uh, the complete foundations offering. So 
I know Sharon has a lot of inspiration that'll give you <laughs> even more reason to buy. Yes, thanks, Nancy. So the uh, monkey bread quilt here, uh, all of these upcoming uh, provision quilts are designed by Tammy Silver. She did a very nice job uh, when we sent her the collections. And so we just used all of the inspiration for this. Um, monkey bread is like a new take <clears throat> on a, a very traditional quilt. It's a great be beginner quilt and the sizes of all of these quilts are small, which is nice. It'd be great to get somebody started. And you can see that all of the provision colors play very nice. So the monkey bread quilt is a 42 by 59 and the next one's a 46 by 72. That's a little bigger, but it's still, you know, manageable. Um, Nance, could you switch to the yeah. next? Yep. Uh, modern churn quilt, you know, that's a new take on a tr very traditional uh, quilt. We offered in two colorways in case somebody, you know, prefers one over the other. They want to make, we make one for a man. You know, the brown one, actually both of those would be great. Uh, but, you know, just offering many colorations of that, the jangle quilt, you know, you get your half square triangles in there. The contempo quilt, again, it could be <clears throat> more masculine, excuse me, uh, driven, as well as the shards. So we're trying to, you know, just offer many different uh, ideas in which you can use those. And please keep in mind that, again, all of those patterns, you could use them with just the provisions, or you could use them you, you could change them up. You could use foundations in them. You know, the provisions work, like Nancy said, back and forth with Tim's foundations and also with his new abandoned collection. And these that we showed are just primarily using the new provision colors that we're offering. As a side note, I'd like to, um, I'd like to invite you here next Thursday. I think that's May 14th. Let me check my calendar. Yes. Yeah. And Next then. Thursday is May 14th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to host a watch party, um, and our guest of honor will be Tim Holtz, who will uh, talk to you about his inspiration behind Abandon, um, how he does what he does. And you might even get a sneak peek into his studio because he truly lives his craft, and I think you'd find it very interesting. So again, next Thursday, May 14th, at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tim will do a watch party featuring Tim Holtz, and he's going to talk about abandon, and we'll be online to answer any of your questions, and I'm sure you'll love spending a little bit of time with Tim. We always do, too. So, next, yeah. needs no introduction. Um, I'm sure, I hope you have seen, or if you haven't seen, I'm going to tell you, when you get off this, uh, this watch party we're having here right now, uh, run to Tula's Instagram or her Facebook and watch her introduce her next collection called Line Work. This is 13 SKUs. This is a nice tight collection by Tula because of course you know Tula, she is not about shoving fabric down anybody's throat. And that sounds kind of bad, but because you know, she's very mindful of you as a shop owner. You've got homemade from March, true colors, her basics, which of course will last for perpetuity and are perfect for matching back to anything Tool has ever created. Those will deliver in June. So in October, she kept this to a nice tight 13 SKUs plus one quilt back. And again, like I said, she introduced this on social media Tuesday. Yeah, I think it was yes. Tuesday. Yeah. Um, and so she really can tell you her thought process behind um, this black and white collection of course, very trend right, as all, Tula always is. She saw what was happening in the world in terms of black and white. And she really challenged herself to just stick to black and white. But you know, Tula's about color. So as you can see, there's pops of color throughout all of her black and white animals. Tula loves animals, her little skunk, her um, peacocks, which are just absolutely beautiful. They form into a heart. Um, this right here is how she begins her, it's called sketchy, it's how she begins her design process. She begins her design process on graph paper with pencil and sketches and creates notes for herself and her, her thinking like, what do I really want this fabric to say? What do I want this collection to be about? So we've given you the opportunity to take that, those sketches on graph paper with her notes and turn it into fabric. 
down here you'll see fairy flakes. This, yes, this is the fairy flakes. Um, it's fairy dust. I think that's the um, existing and true colors, but she's made it a tone on tone. Um, the ink is a pigment print on top of the uh, dyed fabric underneath it. So it has a little bit of a luster to it. You can't see this, the, the, the white or what's called the paper color very well, but you could see in the ink color how beautiful. That's a great filler fabric for anything. So just continuing through, you see the gradation of color. Um, and these, the color that's in here is gradated. The grade eight, is that a word? <laughs> it does fall down. Um, we know what you mean. <laughs> it's an ombre of background color. That's what I'm trying to say. That repeats at least twice. So like if you're gonna buy a fat quarter, every fat quarter will have a full spectrum of color. Cause you can see how she's got these limey colors here a sky blue, which turns into a teal and a deeper periwinkle and a purple. That is throughout every single black and white print. I want to uh, note though, do you see here, these are um, her true colors recolored for this black and white line. These will eventually turn into true colors, but she's got some pom-poms, her 10 stripe, um, the hexi rainbow, again, with that ombre gradation of color. Um, and of course, mineral and a black and white. So beautiful, fun, Tula, lots of hidden love in these uh, designs. Uh, 13 SKUs delivering in October. This is the quilt back. Um, it's a 108 inch cotton sateen. So that same luxury feel you've always gotten from Tula's quilt backs. It's on 12 yard bolts. This is sketchy, but <laughs> enlarged. I think it might be like three to four times larger than sketchy. I'll go back to sketchy so you can see. See, this is sketchy, nice 45 inch, 44 inch fabric, um, morphed <laughs> for the 108 inch back, of course. Again, her artwork, her notes, it does have like a blue greenish tinge to the background because it's from, it's done on graph paper. So we've captured that essence and feel of how Tula begins her design process on 108 inch goods, cotton sateen, 12 yard bolts. There are um, pre-cuts, of course, the whole lineup of put-ups that we do from fat quarters to the hexes. The cutoff date for pre-cuts is August 3rd. These also ship in October. Um, I do wanna talk about this page right here. Um, we are um, offering a early release fat quarter so that you can prepare your shop, that you can make a quilt have it ready to hang in October when line work delivers. So it's a limited quantity that we're going to create that will ship early. They ship to your shop in August, I think. I could be wrong, but I'm going to say August. Um, and yes, August. Yeah. It, there is a caveat. So it's, it's a 13-piece back quarter. Um, you buy a, a minimum inner pack, which is two 13-piece back quarters together. We're asking that it's one per shop. But the way to qualify to buy the early release fat quarter is you must buy all 13 SKUs of line work. And I don't, I don't, I, I think that's pretty easy. Um, don't you, Sharon? I mean, I do. It's yeah. a great collection. So again, this is perfect opportunity for you to make a shop sample, get yourself all ready, get your customers excited the month before, um, and the early release fat quarter. And I'm gonna let Sharon talk a little bit about the daybreak quilt kit and the quilts that she's put together to go with line work. Okay, great. Thanks, Nancy. So the Daybreak Quilt Kit was designed by Tula Pink, and you can see it's a beautiful quilt. She's incorporated the, uh, her new line work collection. Obviously, you know, front and center here, the black that you see in the background is the fairy flakes. Um, it may look like a black, but it's it, the fairy flake uh, fabric. And the border on this, there, there's two borders in the panda and two borders in the peacock. So she split it that way. Uh, and it also includes two colors. Uh, so this is a great, <clears throat> excuse me, lose my voice here today. It's a great quilt that incorporates both. Um, and it, you know, available in the kit, it's already for everybody ready to go, you know, just buy the, uh, the kit and uh, customers will be very happy to be able to work up both, the, you know, working with both collections and see how well they play together. Uh, the kit ships in October. 
And the order by date is August 2nd for the kit. It's be a great class, wouldn't it, Sharon? A great birthday. Yeah, it'd be a great class. Yep. Hopefully everybody's open or hopefully we're all <laughs> open by then. And if not, it's a great way to just have people pick up, drive up front and pick it up. Right. So well, let's continue, go through these really quickly. Yes, so the Tiny Dancer quilt up there in the far uh, left, that quilt could actually be made if you buy the uh, back quarters that Nancy spoke about in the previous page, uh, with the exception of the binding, because it wouldn't be enough fabric in the, in the pre-cut, uh, pre uh, the back quarter bundle to make that binding. But you could certainly use a stripe that's already in your store or a pom-pom or something else, another fabric that's already in your store. You can use one of your true color because those will be in at that point to bind it. But that quilt could definitely be made uh, as your sample if you'd like ahead of time. And all of the quilts in this page are made using pre-cuts. So uh, the fat quarter, like I said, is up there on the left. Underneath, there's a fat quarter friendly prismatic waves that is combining the line work as well as the true colors again, and it's very pretty. It's you know more uh, of a color gradation throughout. Uh, the design roll is up at the top, and that's using one of Tula's uh, solids in the background, as well as true colors within the design of that quilt, uh, using her uh, line work and true color in design rolls. And then the one at the bottom is a 10 inch charm friendly quilt, and that also has some true colors worked into that in the background. Lots of options. Lots of options for cross-selling. Yes, yes. They're all very different and great. Love all these quilts. Uh, let me see. Tool is designed. The Retro Heart quilt. You know, that quilt is done right here in line work. And keep in mind, you know, these are just ideas for inspiration. You could do it all in line work as it's presented, or you could combine it with line work and true colors. I mean, there's so much that you could do with that pattern. You could change it up or leave it as is. Either way, it's a very strong pattern. It'll be a great seller. The uh, charm the, underneath the equilateral quilt is a five inch charm friendly quilt. And, uh, you know, more scrappy look using two colors in the five inch charms and the line work for the background. I mean, the line work is more predominant in the quilt as well, but it's just, it's a great design. That one is uh, Stacy Day designed that one. And then opening night here on the right, very strong quilt. Uh, Tula had designed this quilt before in a previous line. I think it was, uh, I don't even remember which line it was, <laughs> but she reworked it here. And um, it, it's just as strong. You can see the sketches in the background on the corners on the right and the set in triangles. And then the set in triangles on the top and left side are the um, fairy flakes. And she's, you know, so brilliant, brilliantly worked in the stripes and the palms and, you know, the true colors as well as the new uh, line work collection in the center of all that. So that's just a very strong quilt. I think you'd be very happy with that. The next page, uh, Tunnel Vision. So Tula designed this one. She also speaks about this quilt um, in her Instagram post that she did this week. And uh, this is a great spin on a log cabin quilt. And what's interesting about this, Tula talks about it in her um, segment, is that the, if you look at the palms and then the, the break for any of those, you see the stripe. It's just so you don't have one long, un, you know, unmanageable piece that you're trying to work with. So, you know, she's got the, the breaks in there and it's a great way to design this quilt and work in the stripes as well you know, a very modern feel to a very traditional uh, log cabin quilt. Uh, the Radiant Quilt is here on the right and Succulent Gardens down there on the uh, bottom. Both of those quilts very strong graphically, you know, for people that like Lone Stars, the Radiant Quilt will uh, please them and the Succulent Garden down there. Uh, that's just a very strong uh, piece just featuring line work. So they're I love all the quilts for this. I, do we have any more, Nance? I can't remember. <laughs> nope. No, but we have something even more exciting to talk about. And I'm sure you've seen this on social media too. We're introducing a block of the month featuring Tula Pink's True Colors and a touch of homemade, a little bit of homemade in the block of the month. And it's using the Nebula quilt pattern by Julie Herman from Jaybird Quilts. 
Um, there's a lot to talk about here. Um, I want to inform you that on Friday, May 15th at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Julie Herman will join us here on the Retailer Facebook group and answer any of your questions regarding the Nebula Block of the Month. I know you probably have seen the posts that she has put up and Tula has put up. This is a stunning 12-point star quilt. Um, it's delivered to you in three easy installments, so December, March, and June, to try to help you um, ease across the cost. Um, it must be uh, purchased in increments of 10, so um, 10 for December, 10 for March, 10 for June. Um, Julie will talk about her pattern and everything you get. The pattern is really, it's, it's, it's added value all the way because you don't just get nine months or nine inserts that take you through each month. Um, you get a uh, pattern guide that actually tells you about the techniques um, and it, you get a finishing guide. Uh, these, this quilt, I'll let Sharon talk a little bit about the technicality of the quilt. Um, in true free spirit fashion, this program will be a turnkey program. We'll have marketing assets for you to use to help um, pre-sell to your customers. We'll have an exclusive Facebook group for the Neb for Nebula Block of the Month participants and an exclusive retailer listing. And of course, in true fee free spirit fashion, we've added value for you to offer to your customers. An exclusive bonus swag project bag designed by Tula. Perfect for storing all your fat eighths as you go from month to month, for taking to class or taking, maybe you have an RV and you're gonna sew in your RV, put everything in your project bag. Plus an exclusive quilt label designed by um, Tula. I'll let Sharon talk about the quilt. Okay, thank you, Nancy. So if you look a little closely, a little bit more closely at the quilt, you can see in the center, so there's a total of 18 blocks. Um, uh, you know, Julie and I will talk about this a lot more next week, but just to give you some high level. Um, so if you look in the very center, you can see where there's like a hexy, a grandmother's garden kind of flower. Yeah, right there, Nancy, where you have it. Well, right there, it's done in um, like a bluish green. And on the opposite side of that, it's in pink. And then if you drop down to the purple one right next to it, Nance, and then if you look straight across, those two blocks are the same. So, you know, you get the star, you get the grit, like the grandmother's flower garden, there's two that are the same. Then you get the star, the two that are the same. And then, you know, so there's two of every block within the center of this quilt, but it's done in a different uh, color. So there's a total of 18 uh, blocks for the center, but really nine patterns. So every month the customer will be getting two blocks to do in a month. So by the time they get to the end of their nine months, they will have a total of 18 blocks done for the center. I think this quilt is so beautiful. Uh, again, graphically strong, the center of that quilt. I love how it fades out into the background. You know, it's so much softer and the emphasis is in the center. And then in the 10th month, you'll receive the backing to, I'm sorry, not the backing, the background fabrics to work on the background of this quilt. We are, um, selling the, the queen size for this, but the instructions will also include, if your customer would like to make it bigger, she can make it into a king size, or if she'd like to make it smaller, there are versions to make it smaller as well. But we're featuring the queen size of this particular quilt. Uh, there are templates in the pattern, and the customer can use the templates to make it, or she'd like to buy Julie's rulers and use uh, the rulers if she already has the rulers, she can, you know, use her rulers if she already has them, which they can buy rulers to make it as well. So this is a very exciting, I think this is very exciting. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to make it myself. <laughs> I'm moved to make this quilt. So um, I, I really hope that everybody's as excited as we are about the quilt. And I love the bag, the Tula uh, design for this. And then to have my own special label to put on the back and personalize that as well is very, uh, a lot of interest. So I think this will do very well and I hope that everybody likes it and is excited about it as we are. So again on Thursday, um, May 15th, no wait, Friday, sorry, ooh, Friday, May 15th, uh, next Friday, same channel, same station, same bat cave, whatever they say, 
<laughs> on Friday, yeah. May 15th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Julie will be here to talk about the Nebula quilt and um, answer any questions you may have. And um, if you know Julie, she's very engaging. She'll have lots of ideas for you. So we're excited about that. Next on the docket is Adelaide Grove by Dina Designs. This is 13 SKUs that deliver in November. And um, if you had her Ganesha Gardens, which delivered in March, I know that collection was just stunning and sold through so well. I, I heard from retailers also, you know, do you, are you bringing this back? Well, we're bringing it back in a different form of Adelaide Grove, which has that same painterly feel, the same beauty of the watercolor feel from Dina. And uh, I just love this. It's, it's just a mix and match. I wish you could see it across all the colors because they do work nicely across each other. So it's not like you have one color palette and another color palette. You have 13 SKUs that work together to bring you some just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful florals, beautiful birds, beautiful like Fillard, Paisley. Again, Adelaide Grove by Dina Designs, and I'll let Sharon talk about the quilts. Okay, so like Nancy said, this is a great collection. It works very nicely. It plays very nice within itself. Uh, again, not just one colorway or the other. I mean, you could certainly work it that way if you chose to, but it, it plays well between both colorways. So this designer star quilt was designed by Lee Chapel Monroe. And, you know, it's very strong graphic quilt. Again, it, it's, using, it's using both colorways in this one. And the bold blocks on the uh, right, that one is a one yard uh, cut quilt by uh, Fabric Cafe. She's the three one yard cut quilts. And you could very easily show a customer that was just learning and just wanted to, you know, start to begin quilting, get the one yard quilts. That's a really easy quilt to do. And if you have a, a, quilt, a customer who's a little bit more advanced, she could work in the designer, the designer star quilt there on the left, but it's a great collection. And it, like I said, it shows both. It's got the lights, mediums, and darks and just plays cohesively very nicely together. Next, we have a new artist, Rachel Hauer. Rachel is very good friends with Tula and Tula introduced us to her. She is a um, tattoo artist by trade um, and she studied printmaking. And I think you see a little bit of that in this collection, um, her background in printmaking, but she is an avid crafter and an avid quilter and an avid knitter. Um, so she lives the life and understands all of it. Um, plus she is also, she calls an, a, an avid rocking chair enthusiast. So um, I think this line cattail speaks to so many quilters. Quilters love their cats. As a matter of fact, there's mine in the background. <laughs> <laughs> the quilters love their cats. So you could see here, this is just really playful. It's about an adventure of two cats. You have the, uh, the, the cats that are hidden within these magnolias. Again, you could see that printmaking um, skill comes out in this print. And how about these cats that are on a little fishing adventure? adventure. This reminds me of the owl and the pussycat, little nursery tale. These tossed uh, balls of yarn and the tossed uh, fish and, and nets that are part of this fishing trip. Um, and then the cats that are on the prowl, the cattails, just so much fun going on here. So after this cat is on its adventure, it's prowling around, it's on a fishing trip uh, in this beautiful twall type rendition of this print here. I love the twall, love twall. Um, I'm sure that, and even like cats on bicycles, how fun is that? But at the end of the day, every cat needs a cat nap. So she's taking you on a little adventure with cats on the prowl, racing bikes, hanging out in flowers. It's very, very, um, very novelty, very whimsical, and uh, I just love it. Sharon? Yes. So uh, Nancy, it's a, I, I love how you just went through all of that. It's great. So what we try to do in the quilts is to show um, how well the collection does work with itself. So you can see the willow quilt there at the top. That's designed by Erica Jackman. And 
if you look at the squares in that quilt, uh, the center squares, the larger squares, you know, that's where we're highlighting the collection at its best. And in the background, you can see where we use the toile, where it looks like it's white, it's actually the toile uh, print in the collection. And you can see we've used like the grays and, and you know, the rust color in that particular quilt. So it, it does, it works very nicely together and tells a story. The spin quilt below it is the same uh, idea. We wanted to show how you, the collection works so well together. And again, that background looks like it's white, but it's the toile. And then over on the right is uh, the Eliza quilt. This is a very modern uh, quilt. Uh, it's really updated, modern, fresh. Uh, again, showing the whole collection. And uh, I just think it all plays very, very nicely together as well designed. And I'm excited about this. I think there's a lot of people that are gonna show a lot of interest in this. Yeah, I'm sure somebody out there, you have to have a little girl, a little daughter, a granddaughter, a niece, a, na a little girl neighbor that loves cats. I could just see this Eliza quilt on their bed, can't you? Yes, yes, absolutely. It's great. And even pillowcases, actually, when you were showing oh, the, yeah, because uh, yeah, when you were showing the one with the bikes with the cats on it, my mother has a cat and she bike rides. So she would think that that was very cool. I did like a pillowcase or something for her. I see. So there's a lot to think about in that, as well as bags. I mean, it makes yeah. great bags for knitters, and it, it's fun. I see a gift in your mother's future. I, I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> Next, from the original Morrison Co. is Orkney. So just to refresh your memory, memory we have a, con a, a relationship with the original Morrison Co., which gives us exclusive access to William Morris's journals and art um, and even notes about the colors that he would, you know, want with different designs. I mean, we have really the authenticity of what we do with Morris & Co. It's held to the standard of William Morris um, because the keepers of his brand, um, they really keep, keep uh, the design and colorizations of what they do uh, based on William Morris's desires. So Orkney, which delivers in November. It's 14 total SKUs, so a nice tight collection. Is uh, inspired by the uh, talents of Mae Morris, which is uh, William Morris's daughter, who was an influential figure in embroidery in England. And so these beautiful designs and distinctive style have been carefully captured and redrawn by, the, by Morris & Co. to create a stunning new collection with re which reflects the history of the icon, I can't speak, which reflects the History of the iconic heritage of the Morrison Co. brand. So like this, this melt setter, which is like a tree of life almost. Wait till you see how this is placed in a quilt. It's just a stunning way to do uh, fussy cutting and to create a really nice interest in within a quilt. So let's just flip through this really quickly. The beautiful birds, seasoned by May, again, based on her influence of embroidery in England. Uh, can't you just see this is just like tapestry-like in its feel. Of course, there are pre-cuts. So to give your customers a little taste of Orkney Morrison Co. And this collection does work back beautifully with mineral. Many of you might have received mineral last month in your shop. So this is a great way to work mineral in with what's coming in October. And I'll let Sharon talk a little bit about the quilts. Okay, great. Um, Nancy, I love this collection. I think that this is a beautiful collection. It shows the this quilt here. I won't go into detail on all of them. There's a couple I want to show. We have a lot of inspiration for this. Um, this one right here shows the lights and darks of the, of the collection so nicely. And like Nancy said, I mean, you could use this collection solely in the Scottish cross quilt, or you could even work mineral into that if you still had it. Um, it would just work so nicely with it. And if you could turn to the next page. Right here, the, this Orkney Grove quilt is amazing. Uh, this is designed by Robin Ruth. And you can see the trees and the placement, how she fussy cut the trees into that quilt and created a whole different design. Uh, Robin's very, very skilled at what she does. She has rulers and I, I, I'm gonna assume a lot of you are very familiar with Robin. If you're not, I would definitely look her up. 
in the background that she used with the birds in there shows the lights, the darks, and how well the collection again plays with, with itself, you know, within the collection. Um, love that quilt. If Frank were a quilter, this one, just a fun modern take on the collection as well, shows the lights and darks and how well it works together. And the next, love Blooming Dresden. I, I really want to make that one myself. I could see this one done, uh, well, I'm partial to a Dresden, I have to confess. So <laughs> when it comes mm. to Dresdens, I always love a Dresden. So, uh, but I could definitely see this one. This is a virtual image that we're all looking at here, but I could definitely see this uh, made up in this and that background could be quilted just so stunning. And the Orkney squared up, again, it's just a reverse of a few others we saw with the lighter colors or making more of a stand in this quilt with the darks playback. And yes, if you could turn the page again. Uh, we've got the Orkney plaid, you know, that one feels a little more evenly balanced, but that's a beautiful quilt. And the, I believe the last one that we have to show is his tartan rose here on the right. And that quilt alone, just as itself, Robin designed that one as well. Again, showcasing the trees in a very nice way, showcasing the whole collection. She has her mariner's compass in the quilts as well, in this quilt as well as the other one very prominently, but overall this piece feels like a tapestry. So all of these quilts I think are very strong elements to bring to the collection and really showcase it very nicely. And as Nancy said, playing back with mineral, but you could also look at our replenishment program as well. And a lot of those pieces will play into this just as nicely. Yeah, I love how this uses just big pieces of the fabric. So you can really enjoy the beauty of the fabric and how that does take that tapestry look. It's beautiful, I love it. So to go along with Orkney, uh, we are introducing three new quilt backs. Um, they are 60 square comb cotton. Um, they'll deliver in November. And let's just look at those. They are a chrysanthemum toile, very iconic, very much a uh, known uh, design from William Morris, now on 108 inch cotton quilt backs. They're 18 yard bolts. These deliver in November. Um, and that's adding to our repertoire of already existing Morris & Co. backings that are uh, available now. Um, the Strawberry Thief, again, the most iconic um, design that's associated with William Morris in three different color stories. And the eternal feeling, look, and coloring of Acanthus, which, which is just absolutely beautiful. Again, Strawberry Thief and Acanthus are available now. These are ongoing SKUs for us, 108 inch quilt backs from Morris & Co. Perfect for any Morris & Co. quilt back or any quilt, really. They're just really beautiful. Again, 18 year bolts. Nancy, before you advance, I just wanna remind everybody that all of those quilt backs would look really, really pretty with any of those quilts we just showed. So depending on, you know, whether it's a lighter quilt or a darker quilt, that all of those quilt backs will um, work very nicely with all of those. So please keep those in mind as you're looking at all of this. So next, we're also introducing a Morse Medley Quilt Block of the Month. Um, this runs Oct January through October 2020, next year. Wow, whew, it's hard to think of <laughs> next year. But this is just a beautiful quilt designed by Marilyn Foreman from Quilting Moments. Marilyn is very much known for her block of the month patterns. Um, and we're very excited to present this to you. I'll let Sharon talk a little bit about um, the quilt. Again, it's, it's one of our typical block of the month programs. We have, um, it's a turnkey program with marketing assets for you to, to pre-market to your, um, your customers. Uh, we'll have an exclusive Facebook page for the block of the month and a retailer listing. Uh, Sharon, why don't you talk a little bit about the beauty of this quilt? Well, I'd like to, it's sitting behind me. So I'm gonna try and move, um, we're on a computer, but I'm gonna try and move my computer as best I can for you guys to see it a little bit better. Let's see, I can't quite tell. Can you see that better? I can't see the screen. Can see it. So at the top up there, we've got the uh, Strawberry Thief. Do you see that, Nance? I can see it, but I don't know if okay. it's gonna be small on their screen. Okay, when we, but, well, hopefully they can see it, but you can see, I mean, Marilyn made this quilt. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a huge quilt. 
It's a 101 by 101 in terms of size. And we use the Strawberry Thief on the back. Um, I don't think I can really show that either, but hold on. I'll probably pull the whole thing down and I won't have a prop behind me, but <laughs> here's the Strawberry Thief fabric on the back and it matches beautifully with this collection. Um, but like I said, with the quilt backs that Nancy just showed, they all work very, very nicely within the collection, whether it be the replenishable or not. So Marilyn designed this quilt. It's a 10 month uh, program where you'll do um, a, a certain segment of the quilt per month. We can show you the breakouts. We don't have it here, but we're gonna have it in a, another lookbook that I know that Anne's working on. And uh, so it's 10 months, you purchase everything up front, all the yardage up front, so it's a bolted program. And like I said, this quilt is 101 by 101. They can also make a 65 by 65 inch quilt if this feels too big for somebody. But it's primarily uh, made out of our replenishable William Morris skews. There are a couple of skews from Mineral and there are a couple, uh, I believe is one skew from Orkney. So when we're shipping this in December, is that correct? Nancy? November. Oh, November. Okay, so it's gonna ship in November and the program will start in January. Uh, the pattern will be purchased through Maryland or you can purchase through your local um, or your uh, checker, your local distributor, whoever that may be, uh, because she also has the patterns I know with, with some distributors. So you can also get the patterns there. But this, this would be great. It's a very traditional quilt. There's a lot of people that love quilts like this. I love quilts like this. Again, I think of my mom. My mom has a very, you know, an older home. She would absolutely love this. Um, great size quilt. And uh, I just think it'd be a great program to start in the store. You could have people come in, you know, work on their block, you know, every month. Um, if we're still in quarantine, they could pick up their, you know, you could pre-pack it, you could pre-cut it, and they could pick it up on the, on the, on the curb. You could ship it out. Hopefully it would be out of all of this, and you can do all of the above by then. I think this would sell a lot of fabric, don't you, Sharon? Oh, we sell a lot of fabric. This yeah, is a very big a quilt. Lot of fabric. They yes, do this is a lot of great, fabric. great quilt for your traditionalists and, and, and um, even for like somebody who tends more towards a modern or contemporary quilt. This is a great way to introduce William Morris to them and uh, the heritage of his brand and the beauty of his designs and fabric. So next, we have Jardine de Lorraine. I don't know if I said that right, because I'm not French, but... <laughs> but Sounds good. <laughs> um, and uh, this delivers in December. It's 15 skews, and this really plays upon the bohemian style and coloring of Odile. Um, Odile is just, she's so creative, and so she has a little bit of a whimsical humor about her, and I think you see that here. This is about um, a queen's garden and what that might look like. <laughs> so you see the birds here that are crowned. These must be the queens. Um, and they're all the jewels that surround the birds. I love the antique shoe that's filled to the brim with flowers and the two little giraffes that happen to be in the queen's garden. And of course, what garden would be not be complete without beautiful flowers and birds. So what you uh, can't talk. <laughs> What you really can't see in this flip book, which I'd like you to consider, see the, the size and scale of this particular, the Royal Expedition. Um, back here, it had a white ground. It's at a smaller scale, so it gives you some options in terms of making a quilt with a lar the large scale and the small scale. And this collection works beautifully across the entire um, 15 SKUs. So it's not like a color story collection. It's a complete collection that can mix and match um, and just fun from Odile. More, oh, I wanna point this out. Um, do you see this here in this little like floral wreathy kind of print um, with the, geog the um, these looks like tile work up here. Look, look at the eye in there. So you see uh, Odile, she hides some things in her fabric too. She has a little bit of fun with it and we hope you can enjoy that. Um, Pre-cuts are available, which gives you the ability to let your customers have a little taste of Odeal in Fat Quarters design rolls, five inch and 10 inch charms. Um, again, the ships in December and the cutoff date for the pre-cuts is October. And 
fun quilts that let's share and talk about them. Okay, the uh, Queen's Dream, uh, designed by Robin uh, Long of Robin Ruth Designs. Uh, love this quilt. Uh, I just think it's so fun. She's got the Marinus compass in the center. And then as you can see in the larger diamonds surrounding the quilt, there are circles uh, within that and it showpieces, it showcases a different piece of the fabric in each one of them. So you see the shoe that's all full, you see the uh, birds with the crowns on and you see the chickadee, or not the chickadee, the parakeet, um, you know, on the swing in there and it's showcasing the collection in such a fun way and it does look like a, a queen's quilt, you know, a queen's dream quilt. It's, it's a great quilt. Love that. And then the quilt on the right, um, Odile designed this quilt and I love this quilt too. I think it's really beautiful. You can see where it's been fussy cut. A lot of the flowers um, in that quilt are, 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 you know, cut out special as well as the birds. And uh, it's a little bit more of a patchworky look, but it shows that the, the quilts can work either showcasing on the left, you know, the collection as it is, or you can chop it up a lot smaller on the right, and the collection still really works very nicely together and plays well. And again, all of these quilts, they're just for ideas. You can change them up however you'd like. Um, you know, but I think that the collections work very nice. It, this collection works very nice within itself, showing you two different, entirely different ways that you can create quilts with it. Yeah, just to read, the, these smaller geometrics, they, I'll go back a little bit, the smaller geometrics kind of um, in floral prints draw every element together and the colors marry across all of it. Um, so I just, it's fun, it's a fun collection that really has a lot of life to it. Next is Time and Tide by Shell Rummel. Now this delivers in December as well, and it's 10 SKUs. And in the serenity of what Shell produces, always the calm and serene. Uh, I'm gonna go to this page first. Uh, you could see, um, this is all about Shell's leaving a major city, Washington DC, and moving to the Gulf Coast. And what that has meant to her uh, the time that she spends walking the beach, collecting shells, gives her a calmness and serenity and reminds her of the ebb and flow of life and, and the time and tide of life. And that's the inspiration behind this. Um, so you can see this calmness in her, in these fabrics here. It's sophisticated and organic in her approach, very much shell. And I just have to go back to this, ah, stunning watercolor panel. You could see that this is across the width of the fabric, the beauty of the ebb and flow. It looks like the ocean, it feels like the ocean. I see just like take two yards of this and put a backing on it and quilt it beautifully and you have just gorgeous color and gorgeous, gorgeous stunning aura of shells, time and tide. Again, this comes with a pre-cut it's a nine piece fat quarter with a one yard cut. Of course, the one yard cut is this, this beautiful um, watercolor skew. That's very exciting and great way to get your customers to touch and taste, feel, touch and taste a little bit of shell. And I'll let um, Sharon talk about the quilts. Okay, so the Mary quilt here on the right, uh, this quilt can be made with fat quarters you can see that uh, main print that Nancy's been uh, talking about here. Um, what's it called, Nancy? I'm sorry. I Let's go back. It Ocean? Ex escapes me. Oh, it's called Tides. Oh, Tides. Okay. In so the, then in the color ocean. I'm sorry, what? In the color ocean. Yeah, okay. So that's where I got it. So the, the Tides fabric, um, so this quilt can be made using the fat quarter pack and some additional yardage. You can see that it's got the... Um, some solids in there as well. But if you take the fat quarter pack, um, the tied skew, you need a little bit more of. So you, it, it doesn't have to be complete running yardage because I've been asked that question. So the ocean, uh, the tied skew, you need one and a half yards to make this. So if you buy a pack and you buy a bolt and cut another half yard cut from it, you could give them a pre-cut with a half, a half yard additional of this uh, tide skew and those solids for the background and they can make their quilt. 
So it, it, this is a great, I love this quilt too. I just think showcases the collection so nicely with the lights and the darks and the playfulness of the, all of the fabrics that Shell's designed for this. Um, and Nance, if you move to the next page. Uh, ah, love these. So the Frozen Fountain Quilt was designed by Judel Niemeyer. And I'm sure many of you are familiar with uh, her mother, Judy. And they are known for their uh, foundation piecing that they do. And we wanted to try to use Shell's collection in this way so that somebody could make a very large quilt if they liked, or there's also two smaller versions of this quilt. And we thought that it'd be just, you know, a great opportunity to hold classes uh, with quilt works if you are a quilt workshop or if you want to consider to be a quilt work workshop. Uh, have one of their teachers come in and teach the class. You could offer, um, you know, three different versions of, you know, the very large piece or a medium or a smaller piece if somebody just wanted to dabble. Um, you know, if you wanted to get started, but you didn't want to take on a big quilt, but you wanted to learn the technique. This is just a great way to do it. So, I mean, I'd really encourage everyone to take a look at this. It would be very, it would be very, very strong um, class opportunity. Get some people in the shop and buy a lot of yardage and hold a class and learn a new technique. And then the quilt on the right, the Wild Thing quilt, designed by Marsha Owens. It's just a playful, just a way more playful way to look at the collection. Um, so we're trying to give you, you know, three different looks of opportunities and ways that you can look at this collection and see how well it plays and the different uh, ways that you could approach uh, any quilt that you wanted to try to uh, make in this collection. Okay, Nance. And last but certainly not least, um, Kate Fawcett shock cottons and shock cotton stripes. Um, these shipped um, bolts to your shop in February. Um, and now we're offering it as a pre-cut. So this is a great way for your um, cave lovers to build their shock cotton and shock cotton stripe stash. Um, as you know, these shock cottons and shock cotton stripes are what cave, <coughs> excuse me, uses as his go-to for basics. Um, this is his solid because you know, in, in uh, weaving a shock cotton, uh, one yarn going one way is one color, the other yarn going the other way is another color. And that's what Kate loves about that because it gives such an iridescent look and a different feel and look, no matter how you cut it or where you put it in your quilt. So this is Kate's go-to basic. He would never use a solid solid, always a shock cotton and shock cotton stripe. Now available in pre-cuts. There's um, a fat quarter that has every single shot cotton and shot cotton stripe in it. It's 36 skews. And then there are six inch design strips, um, one in eight, just the shot cotton, so all the solid shot cottons, and one in just the um, six inch strips in uh, shot cotton stripes. Uh, so I guess, the, again, the six inch design strips are, we only do those for CAFE. Um, and it just gives you a little bit more options in terms of what you're making with the six inch design strip. And I think we have some fun things here. Yes, we do. So hope you're inspired by all of these. So the Bursting Stars quilt up there on the far left is a fat quarter friendly. So you could buy one of those pre-cuts and you could make this quilt with the additional yardage, you know, for the background. Um, so get a quarter pack to make that one. And then the one below it is X marks the spot. This is also fat quarter friendly. And I believe it has a, I can't quite see it because it's so small in this, but I think it had a spot uh, on the background of that. So you're using the fat quarter pack to make the X's in this. And then the background would be additional yardage in one of Cave's uh, spots. And then over on the right at the top, we have spinning stars. That's a six inch uh, design strip using the solid shots. And then the background there is a mill of uh, fabric in the background. But, you know, it's great that, you know, you just buy that six inch uh, design roll and just get the mill of and then you're, you're set to go with that quilt. The one in the bottom is spooling around. This uses the six inch strip, uh, design strip. And this is the stripes. And you can 
uh, make those spools using the, the stripes and then get some more shot cotton for the solids that are in the background of that quilt as well. The border is also a shot stripe on the border of that. And then on the next page, we have a quilt that's using the six inch design strip in solids. And this is called paint box quilt. And this is designed by Linda and Carl Sullivan from Colorworks. So I just also want to point out that if you buy this six inch design strip and you have any uh, patterns in addition to these, you could also cut those smaller into two and a half inch strips and you could marry those up with any patterns that you have that are, you know, two and a half inch strip friendly quilts as well. So keep that in mind. You know, you could, there's all different ways that you can do that. But I think that all of those, uh, Nance, could you just go back one? Yeah. You just look at all of these quilts there, you know, hopefully something would uh, be appealing to somebody. We tried to give an assortment of uh, quilts and I think that they all look really strong and, you know, hoping that you have a lot of interest in this and success with uh, these pre-cuts. So these patterns here, Sharon, they're on um, the Whimsical Workshop website? Yes, yes, that's right. I'm sorry, I meant to mention that. So these are all designed by Heidi Pridemore and they are on the Whimsical Workshop. Uh, is that Whimsical? What, Whimsical what, what is Workshop. it, Nancy? Yeah. yeah. Yes, and all of these patterns are up because like Nancy mentioned before, if you already have the bolts, you could pre-cut any of, you could make these right now if you've already bought into the bolts and get going on those. And I know that Heidi has all of these patterns up now. So if you'd like to get those, you can. All right, so at the back of our lookbook is just a reminder of our uh, collections that deliver in September. So now's the time to consider um, ordering them because we'll order from the, the middle this month, sometime this month, towards the end of the month. And I'll just go through these really quickly. So the first one is Triple Take by Anna Maria Horner, part of her Anna Maria Conservatory, Chapter 4, Bouquet. Of course, that includes a Flower Market by Courtney Cerruti, which delivers in July. Um, Sunday in the Country by Natalie Latte, which delivers in August. And then Anna's, Anna's um, part in Chapter 4, Triple Take, 11 SKUs, delivers in September. And so Triple Take is really her um, One Mile Radiant. I believe it's recolored. You could see you know, the beautiful graphic designs here. And I won't go through this, I'll go through this really quickly. Um, and a 24 inch panel. So this is a 24 inch panel that is part of um, conservatory triple take. And just as a reminder, here are the other two collections that make up the entire chapter four bouquet. Um, Flower Market by Courtney Cerruti delivering in July. Sunday in the Country by Natalie Latte delivering in August. Each of these collections has a 24 inch panel also. So you can see here's Natalie's 24 inch pa panel. So sweet and so cute. And here's Courtney's Color Wheel 24 inch panel. Um, there are pre-cuts that go with this. This is Anna's triple take pre-cut. It includes the 24 inch panel as well. And this is Natalie's Sunday in the Country um, pre-cut with a 24 inch panel. Just to conclude the conservatory, if you buy the complete collection of Anna's triple take, which is 11 SKUs delivering in September, you get the triple take quilt designed by Anna Marie Hoarder pattern for free. Um, that's an exclusive just to retailers who purchase the complete collection of triple take. And the pattern is yours to use for classes or to sell along with the fabric. Um, you can see up here, if you buy the complete triple take collection on 10 or 15 yard bolts, you also get free freight, plus the pattern. That's quite enticing. And then the chapter four quilt. This quilt marries uh, Courtney's Flower Market, Natalie's Sunday in the Country, and Anna's triple take into a beautiful chapter quilt, again, designed by Anna Maria Horner. Um, this particular pattern, if you buy all three conservatory collections, Flower Market, Sunday in the Country, and Triple Take, you get this particular pattern for free. Again, to use as a class, to use to sell the fabric. Uh, you can see this is very Anna style. It's got beautiful applique. She makes great use of the 24-inch panel in here. You can see the color wheel here. 
You could see the outside of this, uh, these corners include the 24 inch, a cut from the 24 inch panel. So she really takes to heart everything that's part of the collection and gives you a great reason to cut into that fabric and use it. Just some patterns, we'll go through these quickly. Also delivering in September are 108 inch quilt backs. These are 60 square um, comb cotton. They are on 18 yard bolts and just really pretty colors, especially this black and white, which seems to, people are, are taken by the black and white. Again, this is 18 yard bolts delivering in September um, frequency. And I think these are 825 a yard. And mineral by Morris and Co. Hmm. I thought that delivered, does that deliver in September? I think this That's is. Delivered in <laughs> April, I thought. Delivered in April. Oh, oh gosh, sorry, I lost myself. This is in here for a reason. <laughs> And I'm here to tell, oh my goodness, I was like a little confused. A lot of things have been going on lately. <laughs> and I'm trapped in this room. <laughs> but anyway, so mineral is in here because we are going to consider this a reorder fabric because it's so beautiful. It lends such a neutral palette to so many things, not just Morrison Co. Um, this will become a reorder fabric. So this is in here to remind you when you sell through what you have on your shelf, order more. Again, a great neutral palette for any quilt making. And that's why this is in here. <laughs> Gosh, sorry. <laughs> it is beautiful. And, yeah, and even here with the, the quilts that Sharon had developed for, you could see how to use it even as its own palette. So, yes. And that mineral is also part of the Morris & Co. block of the month, the Morris Mintley. So again, reorderable, nice neutral palette for everything Lee Morris and more. Um, Cashmere by Sanderson. This delivers in September. It's 14 total SKUs. These fabrics are stunning and it's perfect timing in September because of the colorization of these. Again, this is part of Style Library, which is home to the original Morrison Co. The Sanderson brand, uh, very on trend for ready -made, what's happening in the ready-made world of home decor. And I just love these fabrics. I love this blue color. Um, again, delivering in September and some very, very pretty traditional quilts that Sharon has put together for Sanderson. Um, cashmere, delivering in September. One last mention, Tim Holtz Yuletide. Very, um, it's very retro. It delivers in June. It's just a reminder because by the time you blow through these in July and August, you're going to want more because people sew for Christmas all year long. Um, these just these just remind me a little bit of my childhood, especially this one right here, the Winter Village, just seems very retro, very um, vintagey. And of course, the writing, which Tim's so known for, and this Holiday Symphony, great background fabric. And of course, the Winter Plaid, who doesn't love a nice Winter Plaid? So this is Tim Holtz Yuletide, delivering in June to all stores, but just a reminder of how beautiful it is, and um, 12 total SKUs, perfect for ordering anytime because people sew for Christmas all year long. Right, Sharon? Yes, all year long, especially now that you cooped up, you got to get sewing. Yeah, Start get, making get Christmas, Christmas gifts now. Early, so you're not sending pictures of what you're making, you're sending the actual thing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Not to come. Here it is. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah, you have lots of time now. <laughs> um, one last reminder. Um, Tula Pink Homemade Pre-Cuts. We're back by popular demand. We're doing a second round of them because of course homemade is now a reorderable fabric throughout 2020. Um, so if you have sold through your pre-cuts and you want more, you have till June 1st to order these and they will ship to you in August, just in time for National Sewing Month in September. Perfect, perfect timing. Um, and then also Tula Pink True Colors, which is delivering in June, is just a reminder to you that this is also an ongoing fabric uh, and the pre-cuts will be ongoing as well. So you have this, this is all the new True Colors right here. This is 42 pieces that will be made into a um, reorderable design roll, a reorderable five inch charm, and a reorderable 10 inch charm. And then on the back, you'll see the back quarters that are reorderable are, are 16 piece back quarters in, in four color stories. 
the peacock color story, the starling color story, the goldfish color story, and the flamingo color story. Again, a 16 piece back quarter that will be ongoing and reorderable from Tula True Colors. One last thing, we are so proud to announce that this is the 90th anniversary of Jeff Tex. Um, and I'm sure if you follow Scott, you know some of the story about his great grandfather that started Jeff Tex, that's the J-A-F uh, in Jeff Tex, because it's Jacob A. Fortunoff. And then his grandpa Everett, which he talks about so lovingly, I feel like I know him, uh, just by hearing Scott talk about uh, his, his grandfather. And then the third and fourth generation of the Fortunoffs um, owning Jaff Tex. Robert, of course, the third generation, and Scott and Greg, the fourth generation. And as a little, um, we want to have some fun with the 90th anniversary. We had a lot of things planned, but of course, some of those things we've kind of put to the side because of everything that's going on in the world. But what we have not put to the side is the Jeff Tex Jubilee nine bolt contest. So for every nine bolts you buy of new fabric, you earn a ticket that goes into a drawing for a grand prize of $5,000 credit on your account in 2021. Now who wouldn't want $5,000 on their account? I'd like somebody to give me $5,000. <laughs> Um, Me too. <laughs> so anyway, throughout 2020, and we're talking about we might expand this just because of, um, of everything that's happening in the world. But at this time, throughout 2020, for every nine bolts of, of fabric you buy from any of the Jetex brands, whether it's Free Spirit or Studio E or Blank or Henry Glass or Three Wishes or Fabric Editions, whatever it is, um, you earn a ticket that goes into a drawing. Um, and at the end of the year, we're going to pick a grand prize of $5,000 credit, a second prize of $2,500 credit, a third prize of $1,250 credit on your account, and then I think there's five runner-up prizes of $250 credit to your account. Plus, as we get into the summer and things start to lighten up a little bit, we'll, we'll use those tickets to do drawings for other fun things too. So don't forget about celebrating with us and earning your tickets for every nine bolts you buy. So I'm gonna stop sharing the screen now because I think we've been through everything and just bring Sharon and I back together even though we're far apart right now. Um, there we are. <laughs> there we are. And we didn't plan on wearing gold together, but we did. Yeah, we didn't plan that. <laughs> it just kind of happens. Two different places. <laughs> so I don't know, Sharon, do you wanna just show them the quilt a little bit more yeah, now? Bit they might be able to more. see it better. They can see it so hard with the computer to show, but this is the William Morris block of the month. It's called Morris Medley, which is hard to see. If you're interested in working on this block of the month, it's a 10 month block of the month. I don't know how well you can see that or not, but we'll have more pictures on the website and uh, you can see the virtual image that we'd already shown. But it's a beautiful quilt, and if, if you have patrons in your shop that are this type of quilter, I think that they'll really enjoy this program a lot. So I would definitely look into this. And you could sell lots of fabric, right? Yes, lots of fabric. It's 101 yes, inches. Yeah. Yes. So yes. thank you for your time today. We hope you enjoyed our little virtual tour through our May release. Again, these fabrics will start delivering October, November, December of 2020. Um, and so from myself and the entire Free Spirit team. Stay safe, stay calm, and so on. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> you got to figure out how to stop recording. <laughs>